I'm Nick Friggin! Okay! What's the worry here, Nick? You've lost some of your talent as an actor? No. <laughs> what did he say? He says he loves you, but he went in a different direction. I'm done. I'm quitting acting. Ah, oh, man, I'm driving through the hills. I'm sorry. One more time. We got another offer. It's a million bucks. It's to attend a wealthy gentleman's birthday party. The guy that owns this house, what's his name? Javi. Javi. Mr. K. Excuse me. Is Javi going to want me to, uh, you know? I'm not sure I understand. Look, it's Javi. I am Javi. Nick Cage. God, this place is stunning. What is your favorite movie? That's one of those questions that's impossible to answer. You can't just limit it to one. Imagine me and you. I do. Is it too much? Okay. Is this supposed to be me? It's grotesque. I'll give you 20000 for it. We could have died! <laughs> I'm in position. I think that's the actor Nick Cage. Nick Cage? I love you. Have you seen Croods 2? I'm 44 years old. Why would I see Croods 2? I've seen Face Off and Con Air. What do you guys want? We're with Central Intelligence. Do you know who you're spending time with? One of the most ruthless men on the face of this planet. I need you to help the U.S. government. Find a way into that room, Nick. I can see myself doing more of this stuff. I think I might have a real gift for it. Good, because we got another mission for you. No, 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 no. Your friend is working for the U.S. government. Don't lie to me. Are those my golden guns? They're my golden guns. I don't want to kill you. You're the last person I want to kill. I love you. I love you. I'm Nick. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Nick Cage quiz brought to you by one of the largest newspapers in South Africa the Sowetan, and one of the largest film distribution companies, Empire Entertainment. My name is Neo Muretre. I'm the social media manager at Empire Entertainment. And together with my BFF, Nick Cage, welcome and thank you for joining us. Um, as you may or may not know, we will be releasing the much anticipated film, Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent on the 22nd of April. Um, and thought this would be an amazing way to usher, you know, you into the crazy life of Nicolas Cage, who is nothing less than a screen legend, whose landmark pictures include The Rock, Face Off, Con Air, Moonstruck, Honeymoon in Vegas, and the award-winning film Leaving Las Vegas. The quiz consists of three rounds and the ultimate bonus round. Um, you'll have 15 seconds to reply into the chat section, all answers must be made in the live chat. Fastest fingers win, and the team will tally everything up for the winner. I will be giving prizes for the first, second, and third winners, as well as a special voucher for the, the bonus round. So please, please stay tuned. Are you guys ready? Okie dokes. Round one. For which movie did Nicolas Cage win Academy Awards? Was it one, Family Man, two, Leaving Las Vegas, three, Adaptation, or four, The Wicker Man? If you need a clue, he plays a self-destructive alcoholic writer. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, your time is up. <laughs> okay, ready for the next one. Which character does Nicolas Cage play in Leaving Las Vegas? Is it one, Ben Sanderson, two, Yuri Butzo, three, Mark Nasbaum, four, Mr. Simpson? The Simpson. 
I'm not saying that's the answer because that just really might not be the answer. Just saying. I'm not giving any quizzes, um, any hints for this one. I'll say them again. One, Ben Sanderson. Two, Yuri Butso. Three, Mark Nesbaum. Or four, Mr. Simpson. Your time is up. I hope you guys are getting them. <laughs> okay, question three. In which movie does Nicolas Cage play alongside Sean Connery? Is it one, National Treasure? Two, Connery? Three, The Rock? or four, City of Angels. Just a hint, just a clue. It's an action thriller film directed by Michael Bay where the actors break into Alcatraz. So if you know that part of the movie, good luck. I'm gonna say them once again. It's one, National Treasure, two, Con Air, three, The Rock, or four, City of Angels. And your time is up. I know we're going quite fast with these things. So I hope you keeping up. Question number four, which famous director is Nicolas Cage's uncle? Is it one, Martin Scorsese, two, Francis Ford Coppola, three, J.J. Abrams, or four, Steven Spielberg? Clue. His films include Apocalypse Now and the Godfather franchise. That's it, I'm telling you. Time is ticking. I'll repeat the question. Which famous director is Nicolas Cage's uncle? One, Martin Scorsese. Two, Francis Ford Coppola. J.J. Abrams is number three. And four, Steven Spielberg. Okay, question number five. What was Cage's debut movie title as a director? Was it one, Sunny, two, Shadow of the Vampire, three, Ring of Honor, or four, Face Off? I'll give you guys a clue, because it is a bit tricky if, you, if you're not quite sure. Um, what the film's about. So it's, it's about a former gigolo, um, James Franco, who returns to New Orleans um, in the early 1980s in search of a stable life. I can't give you more than that because then that almost kind of tells you the answer. You have three seconds. Three, two, one. <laughs> there goes your time. Okay, question number six. Which actor was Nicholas's co-star in the film Face off. Was it one, Samuel L. Jackson, two, Bruce Willis, three, Sylvester Stallone, or four, John Travolta? If you're looking for a clue, I'll give you a nice good one. Um, depending on the era you're coming from, you'd recognize them from Greece. So you got to have a little faith, faith, guys. Four seconds left. Three seconds left. And your time's up. <laughs> okay. So, question number, next question. What is the unique name Nicholas gave to his son? It's not an ordinary name, guys, so good luck. Was it one, Kalal? Two, Milan? Three, Batman? Or four, Spider-Man? Was it Spider-Man? Was it Batman? Was it Milan or Kal-El? Okay, and your time is up. Ready for the next question. Nicholas Cage's wife is the daughter of which famous musician? Is it one, Frank Sinatra, two, Johnny Cash, three, 
Michael Jackson, or four, Elvis Presley? I'll give you a clue, very good one. The person's a film is coming out in Ju on June 24th of this person's, um, is it a biopic type thing? Definitely can't miss it. But who is Nicolas Cage's wife? Dad, basically. Very famous. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Next question. Who does Nicolas Cage cite as his biggest acting inspiration? Like his absolute biggest citing um, inspiration. Is it one? Marlon Brando. Two, Robert De Niro. Three, James Dean or four, Al Pacino. I'll say the question again. Who does Nicolas Cage cite as his biggest acting inspiration? Is it one, Marlon Brando, two, Robert De Niro, three, James Dean or four, Al Pacino? So talking about actors, Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent has some really, really cool actors that you just don't want to miss, um, including Pedro Pascal, Sharon Hogan, Neil Patrick, uh, Patrick Harris, Tiffany Haddish, and my BFF, Nicolas Cage, guys. <laughs> okay, let's get off uh, into answering the last question for this round. Are we ready? Which Marvel character inspired his screen name? Is it one, Ghost Rider, two, Luke Cage, three, Iron Fist, or four, Superman? Here's a clue. The character is also known as Power Man. All right, I'm trying to see if I can get a name of a person who's leading the round at the moment. I'm trying to see if someone in the team can give me a name, just so we know who's leading, you know, who's in the leading part <laughs> of winning some of these prizes. Okay, while they figure that out, let's go on to the next round. Round. Two. Which of these comic book characters has he not been cast as? Is it one, Constantine, two, Big Daddy, three, Ghost Rider, or four, Superman? Dun 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 dun. I was today years old when I learned that he played a specific superhero, no, not today years old, last week days old, <laughs> when I found out that he played a specific superhero, because I actually didn't know. But anyway, I will not reveal who it is, because then that's basically giving you the answer. You have four seconds left to answer. And your time is. Next question. What is the name of Nicolas Cage's, oh, Nicolas Cage's production company? Is it one, Cage Films? Two, American Zootrope? Three, Good Machine? Or four, Saturn Films? I'm not giving any clues for this one, guys. I think I should let you do this without my support. <laughs> oh my goodness. Time is ticking. I'm going to read the question again. What is the name of Nicolas Cage's production company? One, Cage Films. Two, American Zootro. Three, Good Machine. Or four, Saturn Films. Okay, I think I've given you enough time. Let's see, next question. Which actress did he sue for liable? One, Patricia Arquette. Two, Kathleen Turner, four, 
Eva Mendes or five, Holly Hunter. For those that don't know which actress this is, but I'll give you the story. So this actress claims in her autobiography that he, he's been arrested twice for drunk driving and had stolen a chihuahua. Anyway, Cage won the case and, you know, won an apology and damages. Yeah, don't say you didn't learn anything. Your time is up. Ready for the next question? I feel like we're going really fast. <laughs> Are you ready for the next question? Which character does he voice in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse? So those that have seen Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, think long and hard on this one. Is it one, Aaron Davis, two, Spider-Man Noir, three, The Kingpin, or four, Spider-Ham? Spider-Pig, Spider-Pig. <laughs> I'm not saying it's spider pig at all, even though that's like not one of our options. But yes, fun fact, noir is a genre of crime or of a crime film or fiction characterized by cynicism, fatalism, you know, and moral ambiguity. Ambiguity. <laughs> English. <laughs> ah, okay. Next question. Cage starred in the supernatural comic book Blockbuster in 2007. Was it one, Blade, two, Hellboy, three, Ghost Rider, or four, The Crow? I'll read the question again. Cage starred in, in the supernatural comic book blockbuster um one blade two hellboy three ghost rider and four the crow so the stunt mo motorcyclist johnny blaze decides to give up on his soul to become who <laughs> okay cool let's see next question what quote is this line from? So if all of you guys like to watch movies and keep track of all the cool lines that are said, which line is this movie from? Put the bunny back in the box. I didn't say accent really well, did I? But anyway, is it one, Air Force One, two, Con Air, three, Terminal Velocity, or four, Drop Zone? Put the bunny back in the box. <laughs> no, okay, I'll stop. Anyway, is it one, Air Force One, two, Con Air, three, Terminal Velocity, or four, Drop Zone? And your time's up. Next question. Cage plays a DIY vigilante in this real world take on superheroes okay which one is it is it one wanted two kick ass three kingsman the secret service or four super so here's a clue next character is a comic book geek right and his name is dave who purchases um and mo modifies scuba diving a suit and arms himself with batons, and the film is definitely kick-ass. If you don't get it, forget about it. Because I tried. I tried to help you there. If you don't get it, forget about it. <laughs> All right, the next one. Name the rom-com when Nick Cage marries Sarah Jessica Parker. It was released in 1992. Is it one, The Heartbreak Kid? Two, Honeymoon in Vegas? Three, Peggy Sue got married or for the wedding ringer. So here's a clue. Let's just say the two spent, you know, time in a renowned gambling mecca of the world. And no, it's not Sun City, guys. 
I'm not going to read the question again, but you have three seconds left. There you have it. Your time is up. Can you guys keep him up? Am I going too fast? Should I slow it down a bit? All right. Next question. Name the film. Cage plays a celestial being who falls in love with Meg Ryan, Ryan in this one. Is it one, City of Angels? Two, see, Sleepless in Seattle? Three, You've Got Mail? Or four, Meet Joe Black? Um, yeah, your time starts now. So here's a clue. Are you ready? It's a love story. Go ahead and tell you. Go ahead and even try and help you. It's a love story. <laughs> Your time is ticking. You have five seconds left. Your time's up. Boom. So me back. All right. Let's see if we can grab. Let's see, can we grab, I'm trying to see if I can see who the leading person is in this round. I think they're still doing the math. I think we can go over to the next round. All right. So we've got one last round before the bonus round. And this round will kind of close up your numbers in terms of who the winner of the Nick Cage quiz is. But even if you don't win this one, the bonus round is really one of those rounds that is going to make it a lot easier for you. So let's close this one off with a bang for round three. Okay. Nicholas Cage is a depressed con artist, in, uh, con artist in this film with OCD in which 2003 comedy drama? Is it one, Rain Man, two, Memento, three, Matchstick Men, or four, The Weatherman? Yeah, I think I should give you a clue because it is it's kind of a tricky one. The film is di directed by Ridley Scott, the same director who did House of Gucci, by the way. And let's just say there's a swindle that swipes left and not right. The thing. No? Okay, never mind. <laughs> All right, okay. Now for the next one. Next question. Cage and Sher starred in this bizarre. 1998 rom-con okay are you ready number one is it faithful number two is it mermaids number three could it be it could happen to you or for moonstruck your time starts now i'll read the question again cage and sure start in this bizarre 1988 rom-com was it one, faithful, two, mermaids, three, it could happen to you, or four, moonstruck? You have five seconds left. Okay. The next question. In which... 2001 movie did Nicolas Cage play the character Captain Antonio Corelli was it one Captain Corelli's mand mandolin two Jurassic Park two three we were soldiers four sorority boys I'm not giving any 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 clues I, I think we're in the in the part of the game now where you guys should should have a handle of who Nicholas Cage is by now. Guys, I just got a message. No, I think I'll, I'll wait um, on who the leading players are in this game. But I think I'll just, I'll give it a swing. 
or should I? No. Okay. Let me just give it a swing. Right now, leading is London Roots at number one, Lendl at number two, and Shady at number three. Just that's where we're just sitting at the moment. I just got a message from the team. Just so you know, y'all need to work a little bit harder. Just saying. All right. Next question. In which 2000 movie did Nicolas Cage play the character Randall Memphis Rain? So if you're a big fan of Nicolas Cage, you should know this. I'm just throwing it out there. Is it one, Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring? Two, Rat Race. Three, Scary Movie. Or four, Gone in 60 Seconds. Here's a clue. Nicolas Cage plays a former car thief who comes out of retirement to steal 50 cars in exchange for his brother. Just saying. It should be like that easy. Time's ticking. I'm waiting. I can almost imagine who London Roots, whoever you are, saying, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. <laughs> If you've seen a rat race, you'd know that that part is where, yeah, Rowan Atkinson is running for the win and then falls asleep. But anyway, next question. What movie directed by John Madden starred Nicolas Cage and John Hurt? Was it one, Bad Taste, two, Dolores Claiborne, three, Sleepy Hollow, or four, Captain Corelli's Mandolin. Just saying. What movie directed by John Madden starred Nicolas Cage and John Hurt? Is it one, Bad Taste, two, Dolores Claiborne, three, Sleepy Hollow, or four, Captain Corelli's Mandolin? Time's ticking. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one, your time is up. Boom. Okay, next question. What movie directed by Simon West starred John Cusack and Nicolas Cage? Was it one, Connor? Two, Amistad. Three, Goodfellas. Or four, Internal Affairs. I'm not giving you any more please, guys. I think I think I've helped you enough for, for the ones that are in the lead. I'm going to read the question again. What movie directed by Simon West starred John Cusack and Nicolas Cage? Was it one, Con Air, two, Amistad, three, Goodfellas, or four, Internal Affairs? Your time's ticking. And your time is. All right. Next question. What film starring Nicolas Cage as Costa Troy or Sean Archer was released in 1997? Was it one, Remember the Titans? Two, Face Off. Three, Grass Point Blank. Or four, Red Corner. I'll read that again. What film starring Nicolas Cage as Costa Troy or Sean Archer was released in 1997? Was it Remember the Titans as number one, Face Off as number two, Grass Point Blank as number three, or Red Corner as number four? And your time is up. Okay, we are left with two more questions of this round. Let's see how strong you guys can really pick up your socks to beat London Roots, because he's the man or woman or that is the person to beat. <laughs> so Nicolas Cage played a corrupt Atlantic City cop in what 1998 film? Was it one, Arrocha, two, The Rock, three, Snake Eyes, or four, The Cooler? Was it a bit hard? Should I give you guys a clue? Okay, here's a clue. Let's just say there's an assassin and something about a boxing match. That's it. That's all I can help you with at this point. An assassin, a 
and something about a boxing match. You have five seconds on the clock. Let's say I didn't try and help you. All right, next question. What is the name of the character Nicolas Cage plays in the movie Con Air? Is it one, God falls on, two, Swamp Thing, three, U.S. Marshal Vince Larkin, or four, Cameron Poe? So as my team gets ready for the winners, I will give you time to answer. for this round. Okay, so your time is up officially. While I wait for the first, second and third winners, let's see. I'd like to announce the winners while the team just tallies up the winners of this, the first part of the game. Who do you think it is? If you think it's you, let us know. Okay, so the winners are in. The winners are London Roots as number one. The winner, you are the champ, the reigning champ of the Nick Cage quiz night. Followed by, I just want to get this order right. Followed by Lendl. And the last but not least winner, Shady. Congratulations. Oh, that, oh wait. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, cool. I just got a bit confused as there are a lot of messages coming in on who the winners are. Okay, cool. So congratulations, London Roots, Lendl and Shady. Okay, so for the winners, please drop me an email, you know, with your details so we can send you your prize. Um, my email address is neo, N-E-O, at empire-ent.africa. Um, that should pop up in the chat section. Um, so please do send me the winners. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, are you ready, you know, for some more action? Uh, for those that still don't know what to expect in the film, The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, here's our very own ad break before the bonus round. Enjoy. Massive Talent is 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. Please don't freak out. It's wild and funny. Do you like a fake laugh? <laughs> a delirious good time. You made me want to be a better man. Excellent. Massive Talent. Rated R. Thanks. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the bonus round. So this will be the easiest five points in the game. I'm sorry, but if you get these wrong, then I don't know. I don't know anymore just what type of fan you are of Nicolas Cage or which rock you've been living under. But anyway, all you have to do in this round is give us the name of the movie, all these posters, you know, um, of, of, of the posters that come up of the movies. So the first movie is okay and your time is over okay are you ready for the second movie are you ready second movie
Do you want some clues? <laughs> and your time is up. Okay, are you ready for the third movie? Are you guys ready? Do you know? How far do you think you guys are coming? What do you think, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and your time is up. And the fourth movie, are you ready? I don't know, guys. Have you seen this movie? What did you think? For those that are just taking a bit too long. I think for this one, we're just going to give you an extra few seconds. <laughs> Just to hold yourself within yourself. <laughs> Your time is up. And the last movie, if you don't know this last one, you might as well just load shade yourself and go to bed. I'm just kidding. Okay. I remember this movie. Angelina Jolie looks really good, don't you think? No? Yeah, she does. The blonde really suits her. But yeah, two seconds remaining, guys. And your time is up. And the bonus round is over. Are you ready? Are we ready for the bonus round winner? I'm giving myself a, a drum roll. Nick Cage, what do you think? Who is the winner of this round? We just need one last winner and then, let's see. Who is our winner, ladies and gentlemen? For the bonus round. They're still double checking, they're counting all the winners. And the bonus round winner is Diana. Woo! Thank you so much, guys, for joining us. I know we ran a little over time. Please enjoy the trailer and have yourself an amazing, amazing night. Don't forget the winners. Please email me your details, Diana. London Roots, Shady, and Lendl, please email me your details and I will be sending you your prizes. Congratulations. Have a great night. Oh, by the way, my email. Now, neo at empire-int.africa. Don't forget to send me your emails or I will enjoy your prizes for you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Be safe. Don't talk to strangers. Don't drink and drive. Wear your mask, sanitize. Good night. Thank you. <laughs> What's the worry here, Nick? You've lost some of your talent as an actor? No. <laughs> what did he say? He says he loves you, but he went in a different direction. I'm done. I'm quitting acting. Tell the trades it was a tremendous honor to be a part of storytelling and myth-making. Ah, oh, fuck, man. I'm driving through the hills. I'm sorry. One more time. We got another offer. It's a million bucks. It's to attend a wealthy gentleman's birthday party. I would never do that. It's the easiest gig ever. You play yourself. What do we know about this guy anyway? Is he into something strange? It's not like he's gonna want you to suck his dick or fuck his wife or watch you watch him fuck his wife. I wouldn't think so. Welcome to Mallorca, Mr. Cage. The guy that owns this house, what's his name? Javi. Is Javi gonna want me to, uh... Play him, Javi. Nick Cage. God, this place is stunning. What is your favorite movie? That's one of those questions that's impossible to answer. You can't just limit it to one. Imagine me and you, I do. Is it too much? Okay. Is this supposed to be me? It's grotesque. I'll give you 20,000 for it. I can't 
I think that's the actor Nick Cage. Nick Cage? I love you. Have you seen Croods 2? I'm 44 years old. Why the fuck would I see Croods 2? I've seen Face Off and Con Air. What do you guys want? We're with Central Intelligence. Do you know who you're spending time with? One of the most ruthless men on the face of this planet. I need you to help the U.S. government. Let's kill this world. Find a way into that room, Nick. I see myself doing more of this stuff. I think I might have a real gift for it. Good, because we got another mission for you. No, 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 no. Your friend is working for the U.S. government. Don't lie to me. Are those my golden guns? They're my golden guns. I don't want to kill you. You're the last person I want to kill. I love you. I love you. You just me, Sally. Can we take I'm Nick fucking...